Hi folks, this is Jake. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. I just want to talk about baptism. What is baptism? And should infants get baptized? Um, and what's the difference between infant baptism and adult baptism? Um, we believe, uh, as, as general Christians, uh, Baptist Christians as it were, that uh, only believers should get baptized. Um, baptism is, is really a profession of faith that you're saying that you believe in Jesus Christ and baptism is a symbol of what's happened to you spiritually so when you go down into the water it, that means you have died with Christ when Christ died on the cross that was you dying on the cross when Christ rose from the dead that was used rising from the dead he was your substitute so when he died you died when he rose you rose so the moment you believe in him all that happened to Christ happened to you so he, you believe in him so he died you died you believe in him he rose you rose okay um, and so when you get baptized the water baptism is a symbol that you've died with Christ and you're alive to Christ in the resurrection power spiritually speaking now the thing is baptism baptism doesn't save us okay when we get baptized that doesn't save us but it's a blessing and it's a command of God and it's a blessing but it doesn't save us if you turn to 1 John chapter 1 verse 7 it says, but if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. What cleanses us from all sin is the blood of Jesus Christ. That's what cleanses us. That's what saves us, is, is what Christ has done for us. Okay. So, it's not the baptism. Baptism doesn't save, it's the blood of Christ. Now, when churches baptize children their babies we would say that the babies are not old enough to make a public profession you know they they are they are not they don't have the intelligence to make that profession and it's only if you can intelligently understand the gospel that you can make a profession and so we would say that infant baptism is wrong and um you know it gives a false precedent because then the child will grow up thinking that it's a Christian when actually it's not a Christian uh, you're only a Christian once you make a faith put your faith in Christ that requires you to understand the gospel and it requires you to have faith in the gospel personally speaking so but we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Christ is so cleanses us from all sin from all sin so the gospel is Christ and baptism is just a symbol of what has happened to you spiritually now a good important passage I think is I think Romans chapter 10 and it says in verse 9 Romans chapter 10 verse 9 that if we confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart now a baby can't do that that if you confess with your mouth and the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you'll be saved so it's a personal faith that saves you and once you do that once you believe in Jesus then it's important to get baptized because you're saying to the world look I've given my life to Jesus and I'm living for him now okay so that's the difference between baptism adult baptism and infant baptism infant baptism is not biblical it's not true Christianity alright let me know what you think tell me what you think and uh, be grateful to hear what you have to say